need to be very careful about what we do next. And I said we ought to take another look at it in July. It's now July, and we're in the process of developing another proposal by Senate Republicans, which will be announced on Monday. And then we'll be sitting down with the Democrats to see what we can agree to do uh, going forward. The Republican plan falls dead dreadfully short. What we're saying for state and local, around $900 billion is less than one half of what they were willing to put into their tax cut uh, for the wealthiest people in our country, 83% of the benefits going to the top 1%. So when they say they don't want to spend more money, it's like, what? What? We're talking about the health, we're talking about the lives, the livelihood, and the life of our democracy. They're all in disarray. You hear different Republicans say different things. And we can't negotiate on a vague concept. That's not how it's going to work. We need a specific bill. We told them as soon as they get us a specific bill, we'll read it and get back to them. When can they get us that bill? Who knows? The Republican Senate conference hasn't come to an agreement, and the President and the Senate conference hasn't come to an agreement. We do envision an, another round of direct cash payments, particularly those making 40000 a year and less in the hospitality industry have been really hit hard. That is, people who work for hotels and restaurants have really been hit hard during this process. I want to do what's best for the people. I want to do what's best for the economy because that means jobs and lots of good things.